one for it? Two, like a chair. Okay. Hmm? We're good? We're good. All right, I'm Jess Apple. I'm presenting for Shared Bottle. Shared Bottle is an intelligent wine recommendation app for the social twist. Uh, this idea actually came to me on Friday night. I have a wine background. I've been the next wine. And it came to me, and we had a great team. We were able to put something exciting together. What is the current situation? There's a disconnect. We have millions of people going out each year and buying wine. But most people don't know exactly the kind of wine that they like. Most people are novices. So they go and they buy wine, they don't know what they're getting, they're looking at labels, they don't have a clue. So what we're going to do is connect to them what they're actually using. We went out and we polled people. 75% of the people when they go to buy wine actually get the information from their friends. Some people use wine shop experts and waiter recommendations. But the important one to look at is actually over here, is mobile apps. Only 2% of the people are actually using mobile apps to help them find wine. In fact, if you take that a little bit further, our polls show that 74% of the people that we polled were willing to use a mobile app. Now, 72% of these people also classify themselves as novices, as novices in terms of the wine industry. 83% want to learn more about wine. So how do we move forward? And that's shared by. So what we have is we have a wine recommendation mobile app. It connects two different things. We actually, you can go in and you can have the opportunity when you try a wine to decide whether you like it or you dislike it. The more wines you rate, the more recommendations our product, our app, can provide back to you. Additionally, you also have a wine club in which you can share your wine recommendations with all of your friends. So we bring the social aspect in, as well as the recommendations. In terms of learning experiences, how do we do that? Each wine has different characteristics that we'll pull through. These characteristics, you might not know whether you, what those are, but if you like that, if you like the wine, we can pair all your wines. We can come back to you and say, you know what, 75% of your wines that you like have a cherry flavor. So you like wines that have a cherry flavor. We can start to educate you on where that cherry comes from, where that oak comes from, and provide that information so now you are learning live data what wine you like. You also have the, uh, the chance to kind of work and find out where locally you can buy these wines. Oh, we're midway through. Anyways, this is going to be sweet once it starts over. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have here is we have a real life situation. And we have Justin, he's looking for a second date. This is the main screen of the app. He wants to find a wine for his date. So he goes in, he finds that Marie is actually in his wine club. He goes to Marie and he sees that they actually share and like those wines. And he goes in, he goes find nearby. Once he finds nearby, what it's gonna do, it's gonna find an Argonaut Liquors. It's gonna give the phone number, location. And it's gonna give the price. The price is actually a POS system exported directly out from Argonaut Liquors. And we actually went out and talked to them. <coughs> Talk to the liquor companies. All right, competitors. Vivino, Smooth, Hello Vino. We have social component with no recommendations. We have recommendations with no social component. And then we just have inventory. The market. The wine industry has 18 consecutive years of revenue growth and 9% growth projections, 23.8 billion by 2014. There's 45,000 plus retail liquor establishments, and 47 million core wine drinkers. These are people who drink wine more than once a week. I'm definitely an offender. <laughs> so in terms of revenue model, where can we make money? We have two different versions of the app. You have the free and the premium. We can get into that a little bit later. We have the liquor stores and wineries. We have subscriptions. The liquor store wants to be a part of the app because we're going to drive people to, to the liquor store. We're going to drive people to the winery. So that allows them to make data-driven decisions as well as demographically driven marketing. So we're allowing them to utilize the data to the best of their advantage. We went out and told some people this code's amazing. Let me know when you get it built. We're interested. That's Mr. B's that's down the street. This is our team. Our team was very awesome. We actually had Justin come in at the end. He was like, you got sat down, you got a table. We found the team that formed the quickest and wanted to kick ass. We wouldn't be able to do it. We wouldn't have been able to have all this uh, information here without the team. So I thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Moving forward, we already have a launch, launch site, a place for people to sign up and put their email addresses in. So, thank you.